Now the last group of drugs acting on opioids is opioid antagonists. They are antagonist on all the opioid receptors. Two main drugs in this category are naloxone and naltrexone. Naloxone and naltrexone. These are the two main drugs. And important points regarding these two, you can remember from the name itself. Naltrexone is a longer name than naloxone. So, naltrexone is long acting, whereas naloxone is short acting. Second important difference, again, you can remember from the name naltrexone, in the name contains O, so it can be given orally. But you will say that naloxone also contains O. But no, naloxone contains O twice. So that means one O will cancel the second O. So that means it cannot be given orally. So it is given by intravenous route. So naloxone is given intravenously, whereas naltrexone is given by oral route. So based on these properties, naloxone is given by IV route. So, when a person comes with acute morphine poisoning or acute opioid poisoning, the drug of choice is naloxone. Acute opioid poisoning. It is so much effective drug that it will immediately reverse all the effects of opioids. Like a patient with acute opioid poisoning, it will come with the symptoms due to excessive opioid action. And we know action of opioids are remembered as saccharum. So that means this person will have severe sedation. That means person will be in comatose state. Person is having constipation. That means bowel sounds will be absent. Person will have severe respiratory depression. Person will be having meiosis. So severe meiosis that pupil look like pinpoint. So all these are features of acute opioid poison. So person comes in comatose state. We give him naloxone. And it is so much effective that within one minute, the person will stand up as if nothing has happened earlier. So, all the symptoms will be totally reversed within one minute. Now, most of the time, the opioid poisoning occur in addict patients because they are used to take these opioids and sometimes they take overdose and they go into coma. So, now when we give intravenous naloxone, all the symptoms are reversed. And now this person will try to escape from the hospital. So if the person goes out of the hospital, after 10-15 minutes, the person will again go into coma. Reason? The naloxone is very short acting. So it is very important that, number one, these patients should not be allowed to go out of the hospital. And number two, after giving naloxone, when the person gains consciousness, we should start naltrexone. The reason is, naltrexone can be given orally and it is very long acting. So, person will not go into coma again. So, drug of choice for acute opioid poisoning is naloxone. But drug of choice for maintenance in case of opioid poisoning is naltrexone. So, naloxone for acute poisoning and naltrexone for maintenance.